Alright, in this video we're going to do trigonometric integrals and it's a product of sine and cosine, uh, basically sort of linear factors inside of sine and cosine. Um, so just a number times x and a number times x. And the idea is we're going to use these corresponding formulas on the right hand side. And the idea is you're either going to be able to write it as an addition of a sine function, subtraction of cosine functions, or addition of cosine functions. So I'm only going to do a couple of these here real quickly, just because I don't think it's uh, anything too terribly crazy. All right, so I'm just going to make uh, just make one up here. Suppose it's sine of 2x, we'll say times cosine of 3x dx. Okay, in this problem you should think about the 2x as being your a value. You should think about the 3x as being your b value. And again, we're going to use this first formula. It says if you have sine of something times cosine of something, you take sine of the difference, the first minus the second, and sine of the addition. So when I do this, it says this is going to turn into 1 half sine of, it said, a minus b plus sine of a, which is 2x, plus b, okay, dx. So again, we're using this first formula right here. And all you really do is simplify it down, so you'll get 1 half, um, we'll get sine of negative x, plus sine of 5x dx. And now you would just integrate these basically separately. You would integrate sine of negative x by doing a u substitution. Um, likewise, you would integrate sine of 5x by just doing a u substitution. I guess it never hurts to go all the way through it. So on this one, we could let u equal negative x, du would be negative 1, dx, so we'll pull the negative over. Here, let u equal 5x, du would be 5dx. If we divide by 5, we'll get 1 -fifth du equals dx. Maybe I shouldn't use u's repeatedly, repeatedly, just um, maybe I'd get confused, but I think I'll be okay. So I'll get negative sine of u for the first one. I'll get one-fifth uh, the integral sine of u for the second one. Whoops, I wrote dx. I should have wrote du. So if we integrate, I'll get one-half. The antiderivative of sine is negative cosine, so that negative will cancel out, and that will give me cosine of u, again, which is negative x. If I integrate sine of u, again, I get negative, so I pull that out front, cosine of u which for that guy was my 5x term, plus c, and that'll simply be my antiderivative in that case. Okay, so again, it's just basically using the appropriate formulas and u substitution. So, I don't know, I guess uh, let's do one more since uh, we've got time to do it here. So I'll have sine of 3x, maybe I'll make the other one sine of, uh, excuse me, sine of 2x, sine of 3x. So again, it says, um, for this formula, it says we have sine of something times sine of something. It's got a little rubbed out. It says we take one half, we take cosine of the difference, and then subtract cosine of the addition. Okay, so it says we'll get one half cosine of the difference minus cosine of the addition of the a and the b term. Okay, so that's simply what we'll be left with in this case. Again, just pull the one half out front. Um, this will become cosine of negative x, just like before, minus cosine of this time 5x. Again, you could basically break each piece up. It's the exact same problem now. Just do a u substitution. And I think at the end, if you distribute, you'll get the antiderivative of um, 
you would end up with basically a cosine of u, but you would have a negative out front. That'll give you negative sine of u, which would be negative x. And for this part, you'll end up getting that same one-fifth term out front. So you'll have minus one-fifth cosine, oops, one-fifth sine of 5x plus c is your antiderivative for that one. So you can do basically the exact same u substitution that you did in the last one. So again, I think these are, at least to me, the most straightforward of kind of the trig integrals. Um, it's just knowing these formulas. Um, so again, I, more things to commit to memory, but that's just how it goes. So, all right, in my next video, the last one, I'm just gonna do kind of random trig integrals that don't really kind of fit any sort of mold and we'll just see if we can't be clever and figure out what to do.